It's about 5 a.m. August 8th, 2020. Um, was getting attacked in my heart again last night. Having my heart be vibrated, kind of fluttered and vibrated. A message that it's linked to the number three, which I already, I don't know what number three is exactly, but I know that all of the implant attacks in my, the implants in general are linked to number three. I got that message. I think I've gotten that message as far back as 2018, definitely by 2019. Um, I know that, I think that number three is linked to the FBI as well as to hospitals, but I don't, I don't know everything about it. I mean, I don't know much about it. Uh, linked to the Empress card and tarot. Um, and why they would attack me in this way is not clear. I had a dream last night suggesting that the attacks to my heart, at least last night, were linked to this idea that I'm going to, there's, okay, I'm going to read it. Um, well, first of all, I was given almost like a title in the middle of the night of, because I had I had written something about on my Twitter account about an authoritarian, you know, totalitarian type of government running beneath the veneer of doc, democracy. And so the title comes to me, how an authoritarian state can be or is running under the veneer of democracy. So maybe some people don't think that this is actually what's going on. Some people actually believe that this is a democracy operating as advertised. I don't know how they would believe that because they are not behaving like they believe that. But um, so, but apparently that's something I need to explain a little more. Also, my dreams were getting erased last night. Um, some issue with masks. The, so I've been sewing, last night I was sewing metal nose pieces into my masks. I don't know what that was about because that got erased. Um, it might, yeah, I don't know. it might have to do with the metal seeming like an implant or something like that. Some issue with natives falsely believing I'm here to steal their land, <laughs> which is like the opposite of my interest. My total interest always has been that, um, Native um, natives should have more control over land. Um, they should have control over watersheds and things like that. Um, I'm aware that this whole situation is built by people who are really experienced at setting people against each other. And they want to start race wars. That's one thing they want to do and are doing. I mean, trying to do. Um... And you can see that they are manipulating not just, um, they're manipulating white supremacists, um, but they're also sending out agent provocateurs into, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and things like that. Um, this group has set native groups against each other, especially with regards to land and the Hoopa Yurok land issues, I think are endemic of that, as so are the Hopi Navajo land issues. I don't think any of that was an accident when you take, you know, um, in the case of the Yurok and Hoopa, you give um, one group more access to fishing and the other group more access to land, you know, in a situation where they're originally more balanced and so then, you know, people are perpetually fighting each other over these resources that are now scarce. Um, So this is another version of that, sort of, except that it's like, I don't know, because I don't know, I don't know what agreements have been made or what promises have been made. I don't know any of that. I, as far as I know, I don't have any claims to any land anywhere. But somebody probably has some secret agreements somewhere saying that if we survive, we're going to get such and such and such, and if we die they're going to get such and such and such. And so, obviously, it's in their interest to kill us off, they think. Um, now, there's another issue here, 
also, which has to do with transference of power of some sort. And I don't understand this because it's also all underground. But if there's an inherited system where my family line is um, because Chris doesn't have any children, um, my family line may stand to gain some type of leadership position that would be natives should want that to happen I mean that should be a no brainer because my daughter's native proudly native um, now there's a lot of white supremacists who don't want that to happen um, a lot of white there's a lot of people who can't even fathom the idea of anybody who's native and and or female having any kind of, you know, power of that degree. And I, you know, I think that's ridiculous. I don't even know what kind of power this is anyway. I mean, if it's the, it appears to me, like from my perspective, from what's being done to me, that it's a power to run totally outside the law and um, basically co-opt the, um, the power of, of the state. The, the police force, the FBI, and uh, corporate power to your own desires. Not really a type of power that I want or think that anybody should have. Um, there may be other things going on, too, with regards to the arts and so forth, but it's hard to, like, focus on that when you're, you know, your heart's being attacked, literally, by... Uh, um, people who are either operating under the protection of the police or um, without being held accountable by the police and justice system. <clears throat> um, so, you know, it's so hard for me to actually try to talk about issues when nobody has made them very clear to me at all. But I, I will say that if if something came up, right, and they said, okay, yay, blah, 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 you win, and somehow we're not going to kill you, because, you know, I don't know how that's going to work out, because, you know, I think I need to get these implants addressed before I, quote, unquote, win anything. Um, but um, let's just say, speculate that this would happen. Oh, yay, you win. And here's what you get. You get this land, and you get this land. I don't want all that land. What am I going to do with all that land? might be one thing if I had eight kids and, you know, uh, um, you know, and I was young and I don't know. I mean, even that's, that's, so that's not even if, so we're not going to take, put that on the table. I don't want a bunch of land. It would be nice to have a little bit of land to live on. You know, it might be nice to have a house and a garden. Um, but if there's a bunch of land in play, um, First of all, I don't want to take people's land that they already have in their possession, especially they've had it in their family for years and years and years. And I've said that already, but I don't know how many people hear what I say or when they what they hear exactly. And then as far as um, land in North America, okay, I don't know. I mean, if, if there's land in play, I don't even know if it's in North America or other countries. Um, but as far as land in North America specifically, like I said, it would be nice to have a house, a garden, to be able to have enough money to buy your own little piece of land, just like people do. Um, but it, like, especially if it's potential native land, like, you know, um, land near a reservation or, you know, especially if it's land near a reservation, I wouldn't take it. I, in fact, if I took it, I would give it back to the natives. And in fact, when I thought that when I thought that this was going to be resolved way back, and I, you know, I mean, I was always thinking about that. Like, I wish that I could buy these pieces of land, like this land, this ranch that was for sale near the, you know, um, when the Dakota Access Pipeline was going on, and the and the oil company would just buy up this land when it was for sale, and then try to um, run the natives off of the land, you know, and I would 
want to do the opposite. I would want to buy the land and give it back to the tribes. Um, and I thought about, you know, fantasized about being able to do things like that. Um, if I were given land like that, I would give it back to the tribes. idea I'm going to take Indian land link to yeah I'm not gonna let these people play me why would you let these people I mean you know I can understand why people would be have anxiety about that but I'm I also really strongly suggest not getting played by these people that this is their MO and it has been for hundreds of years to set people against each other and to watch the sparks fly and then to collect you know wealth at the end um, and cash in and and my understanding is that if this were to go the way that they've tried to you know convince natives that is in their interest which is to kill us off my understanding is that um the next step is to kill off a bunch of natives and it's not even the next step because it's already happening it's been happening it's just that, that you've been conditioned to think that this is some sort of thing that's just happening not that it's actually happening on purpose so all it apparently takes to get people to kill each other off is, you know, a car or some equivalent to a car. You know, people are apparently willing, especially if they think they can get away without being held accountable by the justice system, they're willing to kill people off pretty cheap. Um, so what they do to me, they're going to do to the next group, and that's going to be largely natives. So... Um, They're playing you. They're trying to play us. I am not going to take native land. No way. I've said that before. And if I get it, I will give it back to the tribes. I don't expect, I mean, I really have a hard time seeing that any kind of, especially if there's nothing in writing. I don't know if there's anything in writing or not, but I have a hard time seeing that any of any kind of land transfer is going to happen unless there's agreements that are in writing. It just, it's too, land is, people hold on to it too hard, but like I said, you know, you can... If if I'm killed, I don't think I don't think people are going to get the big payoff that they think they're going to get. But um, if I'm if I'm not killed, and if I'm awarded something, I'm not going to take native land. And um, I'm not like I'm not going to want to take anybody's land actually. But I do think I should be paid some you know royalties. And I you know like I said, I think that the money that I'm paid should come from billionaires. I think it should come exclusively from billionaires because it's mostly billionaires who have been funding the attacks against me. It's one thing to have to be, have made money from this system, you know, because you've been forced into it because you want to be an artist. You know, you're in a position you want to be a performing artist, you want to be a writer, you want to, you know, be a creator. And this is the system that you have to work with. You know, I understand why people would have anxiety about those kinds of things and royalties and things like that. Um, I'm kind of neutral on the on the idea of I don't know I don't I haven't really the idea of trying to take people's trying to take royalties based on intellectual property theft it seems like a complicated thing to me it seems like it's and it's obviously also putting us in danger that idea um, so I don't think like when you look at how much money a billion dollars is versus a million dollars. And you think about the billionaires that have been involved in direct attacks to me and actually attempts to kill me, including Jeff Bezos, including Phil Knight. Okay, those two I know for sure have been up to no good with regards to me. Um, somebody should take their money. Now, unfortunately, I don't know that anybody has the guts to do that. But, I mean, it would not be like a scrape on these guys' knee. Especially Bezos. He could lose a billion dollars and he would never notice it as anything. He could, you know, he could lose ten billion dollars and his life wouldn't change. 
because he he only has gotten this money in the past couple of years. Um, that's that's who should be targeted as far as pay, getting paid, the billionaires. Now I don't know who has the guts to do that. If I were given some like great kind of power, that's what I would do. I would focus on just the few top 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 people of this, get them get some sort of you know system in place so that they can give up a little bit of their, you know, outlandish amount of wealth and leave everybody else the hell alone and put it in writing if that's what it takes and go on with our lives. All this other stuff, I don't want to scrabble. I don't want to scrabble over people who are in need with things that they should have, including land. And I don't want to take families' land away from them. Well, I mean, what a good way to, like, foster resentment against your family for generation after generation after generation to steal someone's land. I'm not into it. I don't want to put my daughter in that position. I don't want to put anybody in that position.